we're looking for is safety issues. So anything uh, right now, just in going through the coves, first of all, we're, we're visible so that everybody sees that we're out here. Uh, second, um, we're driving along and we're looking for um, kids wearing life vests, make sure that they're uh, being supervised, uh, make sure nobody's in distress. Uh, over here we have a no boating zone, uh, making sure there's no vessels, no boating zone. Um, and then as we get out to the main body of water, of course we're looking for uh, people that are uh, operating their vessels unsafely. Um, one of the, our, our main things, like I, I can't stress enough, is safety issues. So, um, we're looking for, uh, to make sure everybody has a, uh, anybody cold runner has a life vest on. Um, a lot of, when we stop them, we make sure they have life vests readily available for everybody that are properly sized and U.S. Coast Guard approved. If you will, uh, we're only in the water, uh, maybe probably less than 12 inches. So we can go in actually really shallow areas with this boat. Uh, its propulsion system is a jet drive. So there's no prop or any moving parts that are in the water, which is also a good safety thing too, is as we're going right now, we're going into, uh, you know, the buoy line and a swim area. So I don't have a propeller or anything out there while I'm patrolling that I have to worry about uh, somebody getting hurt from uh, a prop strike or a propeller strike. So we have two, two uh, juveniles in life vests here. But just looking right here, I don't see any parents or supervision around. Um, oh, I, I see somebody. Channel. Somebody popped out over here at the top. So, so there's somebody up here, but that's still a pretty big distance. You got somebody, I'd say, roughly 50 feet away from the kids. That's a long distance. If they were to start to be in distress, your parents know you're swimming. Okay, have fun. Here's the thing: I can't make you wear life jackets. I just strongly suggest it. I paid like five, six bucks for that at Target or Walmart or something. If that popped, you, know, you have no way to, other than swim back. And it's a pretty far distance. Right. So just, just be aware of that because I don't want nothing bad to happen to you guys, okay? Right, so be careful. All right, guys, have a good day. Yeah, it's actually a brand new buoy because yeah. when we were looking for the last gentleman that drowned, uh, we broke the buoy off on accident. Us or fire department when we were searching for the victim. Uh, so the, the ski people, they replaced the buoy, but this is basically, he was found within feet of that buoy marker. And, and the sad thing is, is, you know, we 15, 20 feet uh, to shore from that last spot, and we're now in 5.2 feet. Now we're going down below 5 feet of water, so if that gentleman had been, you know, 10, 15, max 20 feet from where he drowned, he could have stood up and his head would have been out of water. Very sad. Very sad.